we have a tea caddy, a Chippendale tea caddy from the 1750s. These were the first wood tea caddies. Before then, they either used ceramics or some types of metal. What is surprising about this tea caddy is its originality. And I don't see if I can get really close. That's its original escutcheon with its original brass smith nails. An original key, and the lock does work. When you look at this key, let me put it in a better light here. You notice I'll take the key out, put it down here. You notice that towards the front of the key it's more silvery, and the back of the key it's more tarnished. Well, that's because that's exactly, if you look, exactly, boom. See how it disappears? It's a perfect fit. That is an original key. It also has its original handle from that period. But re what really surprised me is when I opened this, when I bought it, and it's original tea canisters. One for one type of tea, black or green, the other type, black or green, and sugar. Some people think that this is a, an area to mix your teas if you like black and green mixed, but you would do that in the teapot. It would be silly to put it in, in here. This does open up. The only thing not original is this here, this backing. But even this latch is, is blacksmith made, not even rectangular, not even square. The cabinet maker who made this had to really cut the wood to fit that. And it has its original rosehead nails. I don't know how close I could get to this. Sometimes it just won't do it, but let's see. No, it's just not going to do it, but these autofocus. But it has its original rosehead nails, never been replaced. And guess what? A teaspoon. A coin silver teaspoon. Look at that. The, the initials on the top of the spoon. Remember back then, people embroidered their initials on everything, just in case of theft. And on the back of the spoon here, a scallop shell. And the maker's mark here, Timothy Gerrish, TG of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. A nice 17th, or excuse me, 18th century teaspoon. And many of them can fit in this little compartment here. Just amazing. Again, these early hinges have three areas to fasten. Usually two screws. The screws are in the middle and the nails are on the ends. Then they later on just went to two holes. And when we look at these canisters, I'll take them out. You could see on this one here, it's painted, a little bit of paint. And I can see a little girl back in the 1750s painting those little red roses and that little gilding along the edge. And here just a little bit has survived, those two red dots. And over here a little bit more has survived. And those are the, uh, that's what you put your tea in, that's what you put your sugar in, it's hinged. And another tea canister. Now push these to the side and you look inside and this lock has its original rosehead nails too. 
Let's see how far I can get in here. No screws. Original rose head nails. And as I said, this lock works. So I'll put this. This is the way they did it back in the 1750s. Usually you do not see these canisters because these boxes are converted to jewelry boxes. They take these dividers out and they convert them to jewelry boxes. And the canisters are thrown away. So a beautiful tea caddy. Now I want to look and show you the difference between a 1700s teaspoon and a modern teaspoon. On the right is the 1700s teaspoon and on the left is our modern teaspoon. Now, here is a teacup from the mid 18th century. Now, which one is more size appropriate? This one or this one? You could say this one is really more size appropriate to put sugar in, things like that. This is a little big. So it's just a little big. And when you look on the edge, it's looking at the depth of the bowl, but when you look at the depth of the bowl of the early one, it's much deeper. Much deeper. And you can see the difference in color. One's stainless, one's coin silver, which is 90% silver. So a really nice tea caddy from the 18th, mid 18th century. The first wood tea caddies, this is what they look like. All of them were locked because tea and sugar were very valuable. It's had some restoration, or I shouldn't say restoration, or right here it's been glued because the top was getting a little. But still, to find one intact with its canisters, with its original key and the lock working is amazing. So that's my Chippendale 1750s tea caddy and spoon.